Welcome again to Praxis Group International. My name is Mr. Hearn. And if you're thinking about dropping out of this video already, go ahead and go. Go so that there's less competition for my students who are passing their TOEFL IBT. Okay, so if you're still here, that means that you really want to pass your TOEFL listening section. And I'm here to give you some really good tips on how to take fewer but more relevant notes so that you can answer the listening questions quickly, easily, and accurately. Now, if you're looking for the video that's about timing, how much time you have to answer each question, that's a different video. You can look at that later. But right now, I want to give you some really good tips on how to take fewer but more relevant notes. One of the biggest problems that my students have is that they're very intelligent, they're excellent uh, students, and they take too many notes in the listening passages. And then they're confused and they don't know what goes with what to answer the questions. And then they get, so they're like, well, okay, I just won't take notes. And then what happens? Well, ETS is designed to trick you, right? They have a lot of choices that are right in the real world, but they're wrong on the test or they seem right, they're in the passage, but they don't answer the question. So that this test is, it's not a fair test. It's tricky. It's designed to give you anxiety and confusion, but it's a standardized test with really specific rules. And if you know the rules, you can beat this test easily and score 28 or 29 or 30 on your listening section, even if your English grammar skills are intermediate. Now, What's the other thing? Oh, sometimes we take the wrong notes. You take really good notes, but the notes that you take don't go with the questions. What you need to know is that this is a standardized test and the passages will cue you in on what to listen, listen for and what to take notes on. Understand that this test isn't going to ask you about everything. They're only going to ask you about certain things. And if you know what they're going to ask you, you know what notes to take. So that's what I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna give you seven things that ETS is going to use to present the information that you're gonna be asked on. And that way, you'll know what notes to take. And when you go to answer questions, you'll be able to answer them quickly, easily, and accurately and get a respectable passing score. Let's take a look at how to take the right notes in the TOEFL listening section, academic lectures. Here it is. General note taking tips. Your notes are only to help trigger your memory of what you heard. So when taking notes, don't write long sentences. Simply listen and write down the topic and a couple of words about the details. There are two questions that you always want to keep in mind. Number one, what are they talking about? And number two, what are they saying about that? Tip number one, listen for the introduction of the topic in academic lectures. The lectures will typically begin with the professor greeting the class and then giving a general statement of what the lecture will be about. Listen for the professor to use emphasized words. Those are words with extra inflection. And listen to what they say. Sometimes the lecture may begin with a recap of the previous class and end with the topic of the new discussion. Take notes of what the professor says the lecture will be about. Tip number two, listen for repeated words. Whenever you hear the professor repeat words and phrases in the lecture, listen and take notes of the main idea and related details. Tip number three, listen for key words and phrases. In each passage type, you will hear certain key words or phrases that will cue you in to taking the notes you need to answer the questions. In general, when listening to lectures, listen for the words such as theory, example, cause, explanation, and views. Whenever you hear such words, Write down what the speaker says next, including the related details. Tip number four, listen for numbers. Listen for the professor to say things like, 
There are two reasons for that, or this flower has three main features. Write down the numbers they say in list form and take notes of the topic and details of each point. Number five, pay attention to transitions. Listen for transition and digression sentences. Typically, North American English grammar structure is the opposite of most languages in the world. So be particularly alert for opposite direction words, words like despite, however, although, on the other hand, and but. Pay special attention to what the professor says next. Number six, pay attention to questions being asked. When listening to lectures, any time a professor asks a question to a specific student or any time a student asks a question, be sure to take notes of the answer. This information will often be the topic of one or more questions following the lecture. However, when a professor asks a question in general, such as, does anyone know why fireflies light up? The question is merely rhetorical. The professor is asking this question only to get the class's attention and to get them to pay close attention to what is about to be explained further. In other words, regardless of the topic, all the professor is doing is asking the class to pay attention. Number seven, look at photos, drawings, and diagrams. In lectures, whenever you see a photo, drawing, or diagram, make sure to take notes of the details the professor gives about it. These details will most likely be the answers to a multiple point question that will follow the lecture. While taking notes, quiet your mind. It's your self-talk that interferes with taking the relevant notes needed to answer the questions quickly and accurately. Did you get that last part? Quiet your mind. You're going to find, now that I've mentioned it, as you're taking notes, you're going to realize that there's a lot of things going on up here. Like, they're talking too fast. I don't understand what they said. I missed that. I hate this test. Why do I even have to take this test? There's a lot of things that go on in your mind that prevent you from hearing what's being said. And if you don't hear what's being said, you can't take the notes of what's being said. And if you don't have the right notes, you won't be able to answer the questions. Remember that this is not a test of how well you take notes. This is a short memory test. You're only taking notes to trigger your memory as to what you heard, and then you're going to use what you remember hearing to answer questions in a very specific way. Now, if you want to know more about how to answer questions, come and see me at my TOEFL online video course. I'll be glad to help you pass this test. I know it's kind of like a mystery here, but I'm teaching you how to take notes here but if you really know how to answer questions quickly, easily, and accurately, I'm going to have to let you know those little secrets in my course. All right, that's it for now. If you need to come and see me to pass your test, click on the link below, right, in the description or in the first uh, response, and so I can help you. Don't be stuck with this test any longer, okay? I know. It ruins our lives. Just come and see me. I'll help you pass your test. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.